strategy before we start i'd like to thank you for 10 views on part one now let's get right into it so yeah i've got it loading and if you remember last time our ritual has just finished I got promoted that's a first I don't think I've been promoted first before don't expect such luck with stone leaf most of the time actually I didn't even get further than stone leaf that played some multiple times before and the highest I made it was I think golden leaf but that took a lot of time Okay, so these are guilds and this is the best. The best thing that can happen to you in the guild is that you have the second high that you have the second highest or highest rating and uh, the if the leader of a guild is inactive for uh, five days I think, they can they will not be the leader anymore and the person with the next highest rating goes and becomes the leader and they have a choice whether to make the leader the leader again so that's cool it's never happened to me before must be because they're all afraid to lose their positions and this will When can I find a good game? Okay guys, don't mind this, this is taking a while. There are loads of find a single good one. Um, come on. I don't have that much, I don't think. Till skin, till skin is perfect. Yep. This one is the one I'm joining.
So at least this guy changed the setup a little bit, but it's still essentially the same. Because this red guard, it's not a good idea to have most of his range inside a wall. Because no one goes inside walls. Finally, okay. These things are called irritating. Let's see this guy's dungeon. Oh, this one is a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, let's see this guy's dungeon. I'm pretty sure this one was kind of easy. best practice that you can get Don't even think about it, it costs a hell lot of money. Coins. Not orcs, but it costs a lot. Let's try. Okay, so this should be. Second time I played this game, there were some traps that I didn't recognize. There was the roaster, which if you stay on this on a surface too long without jumping, will take damage. And uh, in fact, I didn't know probably the most popular of them all, the bloodhound. So I was quite behind at, that, at those times, but now I'm not. Got to time your jump for and in both cases. So yes, this is nice. Did it? Yeah, this should be easy. <laughs> There we go. I've got to get up. I'm too behind for this to last. This is the trips, tips and tricks page. It is much better before. I 
guess. Yeah, this should be easy. Oh no, oh, that was close. And there we go. Sorry for that cut. back by the way. Oh that is so cool. You need to time your jump to like a hair spread. If you jump too late you crash into one of them. how they call it a bazaar ah yeah this is the fly oh what is this that but it looks cool doesn't it so these random traps in my opinion are what everyone should do but it's a matter of personal taste because they don't come in these kind of arranged settings they just are lumped together and you need to test so that's kind of you know. The second time I played this, even even this thing was actually new. I think it's called Lil Scorcher, I'm not sure. But it was new the second time I played it. I had no idea it existed or what it did for that matter. I have a feeling that this is going to take a while. Okay, that's one. We're halfway there. Yes! Oh! Nice. That should do it. On second thought, maybe I should toughen it up a bit. No, 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 but that. Yeah, that. That's perfect.
but something tells me this may be a bit difficult to do. Oh, that's close. Come on, how long does it take? Okay, we're almost there. Oh, 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 come on. This is taking me longer than I thought. Okay, we're halfway there again. I'll just fly with this. Hmm. Nice. This should be good. And level eight. Boom. Okay, sorry for that weird cut. Another ad I had to watch, or I wanted to watch. No, no, no. Actually, this looks manageable. This looks easy. Oh, come on. Perfect. There. That should do it. Speed in up. I'm liking it. Now, which combination should I do? Nah, that shouldn't be it. Too ordinary. Mm, I don't think so. It gives me a potion, but I don't want to. Mm -hmm. This should be good. I like a bit of variety. And this will go in the treasure hall. This is instant. Okay. Last time it wasn't instant, it took ages. And by ages, I mean ages. Yeah, let's steal some more gems. This should be easy. If I don't screw this up. Should be easy. That was a bad move on my side. Oh, that was serious. Whoa, that was really cool. Should I not? 
Yeah. I can live without that one. Where else? Pick it up. Well, let's try. This is a classic mirror which I've done many times before. Oh, this kind of drags you around in a loop because it feels like what you're doing is entirely because partly it is. Well, can't do anything about that, I guess. And a gem. I think that's the first gem mine I found. Should be. Not the very first, but you know, don't you? Huh. Yeah, I think this should work. Yes, this will work. Oh, close this. But that was still flawless. Smooth as butter. It's going well. Not that I expected anyone to steal it, but... The most annoying thing about King of Thieves is when uh, someone's invading your dungeon or robbing your dungeon and right then you decide to play. If they're there for a while, then it won't let you in your dungeon for a while. That is irritating. The good thing though is that nobody can raid your dungeon while you're there. Except the tutorial, which was intended to be like that. But apart from that, nobody raids your dungeon while you're away, while you're there. Because it's like stealing right in front of the police, isn't it? I've contributed the most? Surprising. Surprising. Yeah, sorry for that weird cut again. Yeah, another ad I had to watch. What? No, of course I don't know why this. Oh, nice. That's good. Actually, yeah, I'll just speed it up. Hmm. Should I speed this up? Actually, yeah, let's do it. Sorry for the fickle mindedness here. And there we go. That's nice. Close. 
So here are some tips and tricks for protecting your dungeon, which I usually follow. So you shouldn't shouldn't really keep your door and your totem close together. And uh, you should have a trap guarding one guarding the door, one guarding the passage in between the door and the totem, and one guarding the totem. And I find that's very efficient if you want to protect your dungeon. So it's useful. Yeah. But you need a good deal of variety. Sorry for that weird cut again. So this is another textbook layout. So you just need to keep crouching until the red guard goes away. And then jump right through. Yeah, that should be a victory. A good one. Ah, yeah, this is should be easy. Not boring. Yep, there we go. Over there you had to like slip out right behind the red guard so you need to time that otherwise if you do it too early then you you're, you're lucky to get that far if you do it too late well you get caught by the red guard yeah I'll disable this this should be easy now. Okay. E no. What did I do? Ever. No, that's so close. Okay. No. So if you get stuck directly under a blade the corner like that you know you're essentially gone there's nothing you can do you can't even jump to get out of that. it depends on what level it is if it's a low level then you can directly jump there and kill yourself but if it's a high level and you don't want to take that much damage you can just use the restart button which will take less damage so it's all about playing it out. Guys, before you put it in the comments of on how I know this stuff, just uh, just informing that my channel is called Strategy, Strategy for a reason. Sometimes it's quite off. I like it. Oh dear. I think we'll have to do the classic run. Going to 0 HP and then getting the trap disabled. Okay. I couldn't take it any longer.
that oh yeah that was a close one yep nice so these things are the worst things they are the worst creatures that can exist on this earth they literally follow you everywhere so it's really annoying so the best thing to do when you're stuck with one of them is you just in a if you're in a corner you you make it come near you and then time your jump so that you jump over it and then it will lag behind you so that's a useful thing hopefully i'll get a chance to display it there so look at that now he's trailing behind me and i time that jump a bit a little off but if i had timed it perfectly then i would have jumped over him and continued again and he would lag behind me so that's the greatest way to evade them so you should try it. if you're playing king of thieves and if any of you join king of thieves let me know so and if i have a guild by that time maybe you can try and join it but yeah just let me know you be cool oh there is a player one yo these platforms are horrible Sorry guys, I don't know why this happens every time. But anyway, remember like, share, and subscribe.